Good morning, Zeo here. And today, today we are talking about Blizzard, and I don't know why I have this on my head. Anyway, <laughs> uh, no, today we're talking about Blizzard and them apparently just banning people for playing the game because uh, that sounds like it's going to be just fantastic. In reality, they seem to be going down the Jagex RuneScape um, path, and that is very, very bad. So, with all that, let's get into it, shall we? Now, I'm not exactly sure why, and on an unrelated note, for some odd reason there is a small AC unit in my floor behind me. I have no idea where it came from. I don't know why it's in here. It just is. I came home and there it was. So with that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should go ahead and do so now. Um, and let us start going into this here. Blizzard. Oh my gosh, Blizzard. I'm going to try my best not to rant because quite frankly, I don't visit the Blizzard forums very often. When I do, I typically kind of I don't know. It, it, you've got like two groups or three groups of people on those forums, right? You've got the ones who are actually concerned about something. Uh, you've, you've got people, you know, putting in information, uh, talking about stuff, actually trying to do things, of course, and, and propose solutions. Then you have the super duper duper elitists among us in uh, the World of Warcraft scene. And by the way, we're talking about World of Warcraft specifically, if the title didn't put that off. Anyway, I, I don't remember if it's in the title. Anyway, so you've got the super duper elitists who will shill this game until their dying breath. Um, I was kind of one of those at one point. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the, this, this happens to be a company that is dear and near my heart right so you've got those two groups of people and the really really elitist types get very very toxic if you want to use that word really really quickly when it comes to the forums we're probably going to see some of those so as i've been roaming around the forums for some information let's just say i did run across several of those comments especially the well blizzard wouldn't ban you unless they had a good reason for it kind of people that i just want to take out back and smack around a few good times because they're idiots um anyway <laughs> but yeah so what has happened well we've talked about something similar to this happening in ruinscape right where mass bans happen uh they just suddenly will ban a bunch of people in an area call them all bots or say they were botting regardless of whether or not they actually were or weren't because they can't figure out who's actually the bot and who isn't because nobody wants to invest in any kind of infrastructure to actually take care of the problem and figure it out um blizzard seems to be going down a similar route recently with world of warcraft classic and this is a new update uh, that was pretty much launched earlier. I think it was this week or last week. I'm not, I, I don't really remember exactly when, but it was recently, right? But as part of an ongoing effort to eliminate exploration, exploitation, exploitative and automatic gameplay, we've scheduled weekly maintenance each region. We uh, implement the following changes to our settings on all WoW Classic Realms. You may now enter a maximum of 30 unique instances, dungeons, and raids per day per realm. This restriction uh, complements the current limit of 5 instances per hour. Now, when a player enters a dungeon or raid, the game checks to see if they have entered 5 instances in the last hour, or 30 instances in the last 24. And if they have, they cannot enter the instance until the time has elapsed. This check is across all your characters on your realm. This limit only applies to dungeons, raids, instances, and do not apply to PvP battlegrounds. Now let me break this down. In a perfect world, how this is going to go. Now, classic, I don't really play. 
All right, so for my background, if anyone's curious, I have been playing World of Warcraft on and off for 15 years. I've played vanilla up to current BFA retail. Now, I know how things went back in the day. I was there, I saw it, it's happened to me. I also, well, anyway, <laughs> I've been there. I know what it's like and I know what kind of things they had implemented in the past to prevent botting and things like that. Uh, you know, as things have gotten better through, or I guess you can say better security wise and new features and things like that, they have eliminated a lot of botting, but it does still occasionally happen in retail. Now, let me break this down real quick, what, what this is saying. Right now, there I well, there was at one point in time, because I hadn't actually checked to see if the limits are still in place. It might not be for legacy dungeons anymore or something, but there was a current limit on how many times you could do a dungeon, right? Uh, per hour. That, that was a thing. Everybody was okay with it. When you hit the limit, it would just say, you can't, you can't zone in because, you know, you've done too many or whatever. And it was no biggie, right? You know, no, no big deal. Nobody was going to, you weren't in the risk of being banned or anything like that. The problem is the classic here has apparently a very bad botting problem. And Blizzard, with their infinite monies, well, not really infinite monies, but the money that they have and Activision, because, you know, Activision essentially is Blizzard nowadays, uh, doesn't want to take the time to in, um, invest in infrastructure in this kind of um, thing to prevent bots. And apparently bots are currently running rampant to the point that, well, this happened. 74,000 World of Warcraft Classic accounts banned because a large majority of those were bots. Not all, but a majority were, right? Which, uh, you know, tells you that they do pan people unjustly. Um, you know, if just a small percentage of those 74,000 were illegitimate, that's a small percentage too many getting banned. Now, this here is a bit more concerning because this is a 30 instant lockout on a 24 hour period, all right? And that's not really all that bad for the casual player. The casual player may log on, they may do a dungeon, they may do two dungeons, that's it for the day, and then they're gone, right? Somebody who may be hardcore, and now I'm going to be speaking from past experiences, somebody who's playing this game like they were back in, um, you know, 2006 or seven or whatever, you know, day they were playing, maybe it was BC, maybe it was Vanilla, maybe it was Wrath of the Lich King, you know, one of those previous few expansions to the Vanilla game, they're putting in, you know, a 12 hour day on WoW. Maybe they're on holiday, maybe they just don't have work today, maybe they're on vacation, or maybe they don't have classes, or maybe they're done with classes, whatever, and they spend the rest of their time on World of Warcraft. It's a thing that can happen. I've done it. Um, you know, a, a lot of people out there, this was their life for the longest time. We would be running the same dungeon over and over and over again, looking for certain pieces of gear, certain uh, things. I mean, heck, I remember running Welling Caverns, I don't know how long, uh, just to get the entire set that drops in there, the blue set that drops in there for my character way back when. I mean, heck, I, I know I ran, um, gosh, what was it, Zulfrak or something? Zulfrak? I can't remember. It's it's in Tarnassus. There's a dungeon um, down there where two pieces of a, or two swords will drop, and you can combine them for a epic version uh, that was much better. And I remember running that thing over and over and over and over again with a group. Uh, we we were just trying to farm that particular weapon. Uh, for a couple of us because we really wanted it because I think we were twinking or something I don't remember exactly what we were doing But we ran that dungeon over and over and over again for a good long while trying to get Both those things so we can combine them and make the weapon and it just wasn't dropping for us, right? <laughs> I remember because I got really really mad at, at that because um you know, when it did, when the second half finally did drop, or the other one that I was looking for finally dropped, there was a 
another character in there. I think it was Hunter or something. I can't remember. But he rolled need on it, grabbed it, combined the two, and it was just somebody we pugged out because we had to uh, change out one of our members because they had to go or whatever. And he had the uh, the piece I already had, you know, rolled need, combined the two, then took off. I was pretty ticked off. I mean, you, you, you may not understand it, and that's fine. But uh, some of us out there do. <laughs> But yeah, this this is a concerning thing because what what seems to be happening is people are complaining about getting banned for doing this, and it's not just running instances and things. Um, people are being banned for doing routine things that they are doing because they're Blizzard or whoever thinks they're a bot because the way they handle things isn't the same they used to do. Uh, back in the day, we had GMs and GMs could be on site. GMs could actually come and talk to you. They had characters that could go zone in. Uh, you know, you, there's plenty of stories out there where GM items fell in the hands of players by accident, of course. And you can go look at those stories of how those things unfolded. Uh, you know, there's the fabled GM Island out there that people, you know, tried searching for, warping the boundaries, trying to get out of stuff and find that location. Supposedly some people have. And there was a video of somebody making it their way to GM Island before getting ported out when they were found, uh, among other things, you know. But that, that's how things were back then, you know? If some if they thought you were botting, you may find yourself being whispered by a GM. You talk back to them, it's like, nah, I've just been fishing. You know, maybe you're waiting for something. Maybe you're waiting for friends to log in for the night or something, and you've had nothing better to do for the last three hours, so you sit there and fished in a pool all day, you know? Um, and those would be things that typically would be a botted action if you were using a bot of course to try and fish or the herbs or mine or something like that and one of my pastimes was literally running around hunting herbs because my uh, druid was an herbalist and an alchemist and heck i had this whole shop rp shop thing going on with big boomkin alchemy and stuff right um and that was my pastime back then that was what i was doing to contribute to the rest of my server among other things way back in the day you know and blizzard is looking at those things now without actually investigating any logs or something and just straight up banning people because they've they're a bot, whether or not they are or not, because nobody's doing the due diligence to check to see if these are legitimate bots or not, because they do have a rampant botting problem. Um, you know, so I went looking into the, the forums about this particular thing in, in specific, and, and this is the first thread I ran across, by the way. This is the first thread I ran across which did not uh, instill any um, confidence in anything. When I looked at that, and was like, oh no. They're going to turn this into a RuneScape thing, aren't they? Right? See, in RuneScape, if you talk about being unjustly banned, they like to block you from speaking. They will ban you from the forum. They'll ban you from the Reddit. Uh, they'll just straight up ignore your tweets and anything else you do to try and contact anyone about looking into your unjust banning, um, which happens a lot with people who are multi-boxing, essentially, which is not a thing... Which multiboxing is a lot clear cut and wow because it's allowed, right? And, and RuneScape, it's a bit more of a muddy water territory, right? So that that's a whole different thing. Even some of their well known streamers aren't immune to getting hit with these flags. But those are the only people who seem to really be able to get their accounts suddenly back on a whim by just snapping their fingers and saying, Jagex, you, you banned me. Uh, <laughs> I need those so I can stream tonight. And then they suddenly, you know, bring them back while everybody else, the normal player base, gets, you know, left out in the cold. But I saw this. It's ignored content. This post was flagged by the community and is temporarily hidden. Um, and like I said, the forums are not exactly the best place when you're looking for friendly anything when it comes to WoW. Sure, there is some. Like, there's like two groups here. You've got the people who are legitimately trying to fix things, be helpful, look for guilds and other things. While on the other hand, you have a very, very toxic elitist player base who are always right 
nothing's wrong and this game is amazeballs um but yeah this is the post itself it is not our game to change uh this was a quote from the classic team when asked about changes coming to the game i don't know when that changed and i don't care this was a bad change that almost exclusively negatively affects real players while the bots simply swap servers which is another thing to point out as well when they do ban these bots like the seventy-five thousand that they banned or seventy-four thousand. They literally just swapped accounts, new accounts all across the board, and it has done not, they've done some. Um, you know, there have been reports of the um, prices of certain things going back up, among other stuff. So there has been some, you know, things being done uh, as a result. But at the same time, many of these bots are still coming back. Uh, there was a video that I've lost now. Um, of a guy demonstrating just out in the wild doing a player search looking for players in the area to try and figure out who was a bot who wasn't whispering all these people uh, you know who were moving around doing things and stuff is like are you a bot do you think you can answer me and all this other stuff and um, out of like gosh what was it like 10 or 12 players or something or nine players he only got like maybe one or two whispers back of actual people in the area while everybody else seems to be more of an automated task that's been just going on farming things right and that that's a thing when it comes to like classic versus vanilla right uh in vanilla we we had those gms they could go out into the field they can come in and go hey what you doing and it would give you the little symbol next to the name or whatnot to let you know that it was an actual blizzard employee or whatnot you know an actual gm see but even though people still got scammed that way <laughs> but you know and then you'd be like dad just fishing i'm just over here all right you're not a bot are you no i'm, I'm not i'm just waiting for people to log on and then you go on your merry way. You don't have to worry about a ban. You, you talk for some for a few seconds to somebody. No biggie. And with the way that they automate WoW now, uh, you know, GMs are sitting behind the computer here. No in-game characters. Nothing like that. They just got statistics, sheets, and all that other stuff uh, for the most part. From what I've what I understand is how it works now. I, it was explained to me um, a while back, I want to say a few years back, by somebody who was in that field with Blizzard a long time ago. Um, that That's how they currently do it, but I don't... I, honestly don't know if that's what they're doing now, but I would assume it's probably not changed much. But anyway... So let's let's continue. Uh, hold true to words I quoted, as well as words you spoke earlier um, about listening to the community. We did not ask for this. We asked you to revert it. We're not the retail uh, community. We expected this to be revert, uh, reverted. Final note of part a part of being a great game developer and part of what made blizzard so great all those years ago was the ability to admit mistakes and listen to the community. I don't know when that changed. But it's perfectly clear that this was a mistake. The only question is whether or not 2020 Blizzard is willing to admit that they aren't perfect. Now, this post has been hidden by the community, of course, right? We can't have that kind of speech around here. Mm. There's nothing really wrong with this post at all. This is a, a player voicing his grievance on this particular thing, the 30 instant thing. And like I said, for a normal casual player, it's not gonna mean a whole lot. For somebody who's more hardcore, hunting for mats and everything else like that, this could mean quite a bit. Um, especially if they're farming, you know, earlier dungeons for certain items to drop or whatever. Uh, like I was using, what was Welling Caverns earlier? As an example, there's an ax down there off of a rare mob. Uh, you know, there's that set that I think is sold down when you picked up. But, you know, there's other things down there. You've got Kesha's shield, if that was in the game at the time. I can't remember when that was actually added. Uh, you know, there's, there's so much down there that you may want to get and put onto the auction house or whatever to make some profit or whatnot so other people don't have to take you know the three or four hours it's going to take to actually farm this particular item they can just go and buy it off the auction house there are players who do that in current in current wow you know in um 
in uh, uh, retail wow there are people who are devoted to doing that sort of thing i mean heck my characters now pretty much have tailoring and enchanting because that's kind of what i do in my free time when i have played is to run old um, instances roll um, raids and things like that just to disenchant anything that wasn't of a decent value for me to f you know make a profit off that was worth anything on the auction house if it wasn't a really good rare item disenchanting that sucker uh you know so i can go ahead and either enchant or or sell the mats for a decent little profit and that's what i enjoy doing and there's other people who enjoy doing that but this rule kind of screws that over but anyway, you, you go down and, and you, you get some people who agree with it, right? And they'll add other things to it, like uh, <clears throat> agree that these changes need to be revert. But the bigger problem is this communication. Blizzard has been absolutely abysmal with how they communicate with the playing, paying customer absolutely atrocious. This needs to change, especially with how much of a cash cow wow classic is. And... I'm going to have to take this as at face value because I'm honestly not sure what their communication bit has been with classic, uh, with recent. Wow. With, with, um, you know, current. Wow. Um, gosh, I can't get used to calling it whatever it is. We're supposed to call it retail. Wow. Right. You know, they have been communicating quite a bit with this upcoming expansion. Right. Um, you know, and listening to player feedback with this current expansion, which had me surprised because we hadn't seen that out of blizzard in a while. But the more I look into this, the more I realize they might be listening to us on retail. But they're completely ignoring everybody on the classic side. So I'm assuming that is a completely separate team working on that, because I doubt the people working on retail is also working on classic and maintaining it. Um, if it is, that, that might need to change a little bit because they're neglecting one over the other. But whoever is in charge of classic is completely neglecting the player base at this point right no, nobody's listening but then then you get get this this one here yeah this this is the the elitist one the one who has to drop in the 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 eula here that states blizzard can make changes at any time that they want regardless of the reason they can ban you for any reason they can uh, block you for any reason they can keep you from playing the game that you purchased any time they want and i'm just gonna drop this here because you didn't know that kind of kind of person right you know it's like really check and mate i mean come on <laughs> um but seriously you know, it's not like nobody knows that that's not a thing. We, we all know that. But yeah, this, this is the kind of uh, person who is just like, yeah, well, if you don't like it, unsubscribe, that sort of thing. You know, because they can't be bothered with making the community better. They're going to shill for Blizzard 100% regardless of what's going on, whether it's good or bad for the community. But uh, yeah, and here's another one where somebody is talking about those who have been unjustly banned, right? This one was not blocked by the community by the way um and these are pretty recent i mean this one here was a 22 hour ago post from recording right and this one was two days ago um but yeah this this is uh talking about solutions for those who are unbanned that there used to be a number that you could call and it would put you into a queue to get you in touch with the gm chances are these days that number doesn't exist anymore i'm just gonna be real i mean it's it's a nice thing to think about but i i just don't think that number exists anymore but of course like always, you have the same kind of shill coming in. I mean, it's it's not like they even try to hide it or anything. But, you know, it's the a highly likelihood that you were, in fact, not unjustly banned. Blizzard doesn't just throw around punishments like candy. <coughs> Blitzchum. Oh, Ed, I'm sorry. I... <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> oh. Mm. Sorry, yeah, Blizzard does not ban people just for, for kicks and giggles. It, it doesn't happen. I mean, I, I have to totally agree with this particular Pandaren monk who is totally not a shield. Blizzard never does anything like that. But uh, anyway, they would have been a high 
uh, probability of something fishy still going on. Your best bet would be to try and appeal your punishment. If you like to appeal your punishment, you can do so by clicking the link for more info. I would suggest that next time you watch what you do in game more carefully, especially if you were cheating, as Blizzard doesn't take that kind of nonsense lightly. To answer your question though, no, there is no phone number that it used to um, appeal punishment. Best of luck with your future endeavors. The shills, they're out in force. Anyway, um, but yeah, and then more people at saying, you know, can we like stop this? <laughs> I mean, this one is a player who farms, right? Like I do essentially, uh, except for they, they do the multi-box farming, which isn't illegal and, and wow, it's been done for a very long time. There are people who stream this sort of thing. You may think it's not fair. And you're right, it's not. I think it's not fair. But if they want to sit there and spend the money or can earn enough money to buy the WoW tokens to put money back into the market, that is their prerogative. They're allowed to do that. Uh, do, do I think it's fair that you can sit there and shadow box four to eight druids? No. <laughs> Would I really want to face one in the battlegrounds? Absolutely not. And, you know, um, they don't usually end up in the battlegrounds because I, I, I don't know. I think that one might actually not be allowed. Oh, gosh. I'm not 100% sure. But occasionally you do run into that one person shadow box in two or three that happens to have wandered into the battlegrounds for whatever reason. But in regular content... It's not that big of a deal. They can shadow box and run the same dungeon eight times at the same time um, if they've got the money and they've got the know-how to make it happen and do it. I, I may not think it's fair, but it's a thing that can be done. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm a legitimate player that enjoys farming. Why am I punished because of your botting problem? It's unfair that I play or pay two WoW subscriptions and can't play the game the way I want to because of this lazy way of trying to stop botters. The 30 reset per day needs to be removed or think of a better way that doesn't punish us real players that would like to farm inside of instances. Maybe there could be a way to have people who don't want to get locked out to verify their account and if these people who verify their account start botting it, uh, hardware bans uh, or something. Please let me play the game. That's it. That's it. Right? And then, of course, you know, you've got the community coming in. Again, you've got a few who agree with it. You've got some who are just like sympathy level nil because, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say this guy's like a shill for WoW or anything, but I guarantee he's looking at this going, I hate shadow boxers. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie because I hate them too I, I really do uh, I mean I may sit there and tell people you know it's it's not against the game rules they're welcome to do it but doesn't mean I don't hate them I hate shadow boxings mainly because I'm not one of them but you know but uh yeah you, you've got all that going on because this this is just great anyway that is what's going on with World of Warcraft right now and if they don't get a handle on it, I'm afraid they're going to go down the Jagged's rabbit hole and start doing things like, uh, you know, with Ruinscape. So I guess this is about all I got on this. Uh, let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below, and I will talk to you later. See ya! Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.